we always save ourselves so much trouble down the line when we think things out before we take an action you know before you set out to do something you ask yourself okay i'm gonna do this and then what's gonna happen and then what are the possibilities of this and this happening and how will that affect me and with all that taken into consideration is what i'm about to do a wise move now think how ridiculous this uh, situation of marrying a woman in the west and i keep saying in the west because the western divorce laws are something that cannot be denied uh, any less than gravity can be denied if you marry somebody in the west you are subject to those laws immediately some states uh, you don't even have to marry them if you live with them a certain amount of time you're subject to those uh, rules but think about it, you like a woman, you see a woman, you like a woman, and she likes you back, you like the way she looks, you're attracted to her to her physic, uh, physical appearance, you like her hair, you like her eyes, you like the way she uh, treats you, uh, you know, when you go out, these are all in the initial stages, you know, when they put it in their, uh, their, their best foot forward, we all know what I'm talking about, something that most definitely cannot, you cannot count on, and something that most definitely will not last. On top of it being human nature, no one can act forever. And anyways, and uh, let's go back to the scenario. You like her and, and she likes you and, and uh, you decide to, to be together and spend time together uh, in various uh, capacities. Maybe you want to just be dating. Maybe you want to live together. Maybe you want to uh, have children together. And then on top of this cake, you add the layer of legal marriage. This is nothing to do with love. It's nothing to do with forming a family. It's nothing to do with anything that is closely even resembling natural and nature. Marriage, legally marrying a woman with a, con a business contract behind it uh, was created by men. It's an artificial thing like an artificial uh, silk flower that looks like a flower but it's not and then on top of that they made these they kept adding layers to it the lawyers which most of the lawmakers i'd say 90 percent of the of the lawmakers people that are elected officials that make laws they they have law degrees they're previous lawyers even judges 99 percent of the judges have law degrees they're lawyers and in order to be a lawyer in any society, in any society, especially in the West, especially in the West, in order to be a lawyer and succeed as a lawyer, you must have certain uh, highly questionable ethics and highly questionable morals to succeed in that business or you'll fail. As an example, you know your client is a, is a criminal, but you have to defend him because it's your job to do so, even if that crime involves killing a child you know as egregious as that but back again to the main uh, point of this video imagine you like a woman and she likes you back and uh, you be, decide to be together on any capacity and you make the ridiculously foolish move of marrying her and uh, putting yourself in basically a line of fire with the person's finger on the trigger whenever they decide uh, to pull that trigger for any reason that they desire any reason that they see fit at any time that they see fit once that trigger is pulled then you get these cry stories of oh i was lucky i only got out with losing my house and and uh paying for child support and alimony for uh, 10 years oh i only got out with paying this much oh i only got out with that much it was extremely stressful many men as you know never recover many men uh, commit suicide many men are financially ruined and at their age they don't have time to build anything back up again you know and it's just a foolish foolish move that it's not thought out if you are open with all those if you are okay I should say with all those uh, grand and grave ramifications and you still want to go ahead and get married in the West then go ahead and do it but 
beware. Everybody comes to me and says, so what are you saying? Stop dating women, stop forming a family, stop uh, enjoying the opposite sex? Hell no, hell no. When did I ever say that? The opposite. If you are, I, I always make fun of monks because I just don't believe in that. I don't believe in depriving yourself of something that nature meant for you to enjoy and thrive with. We, as a heterosexual uh, men and women, we need contact of various levels with members of the opposite sex. To deprive yourself of that is absolutely artificial and it creates all kinds of mental and medical problems. So this monk thing, again, is as unnatural as a legal marriage. It's, it's a stupid thing that uh, some men that are really hurt, they say, oh, I'm not gonna date any woman anymore. So what, are you gonna just sit home and look at uh, porn on your video and pleasure yourself? Yeah, I don't think so. You have no idea how much damage you do to your body physically and mentally, and mentally, because, because you are going against nature. And yes, being physically intimate with a uh, opposite member of the opposite sex is a physical, is a natural thing. It's a na nature designed thing that we need for a healthy, balanced existence. Point of this video was don't even think about legally marrying a woman. Given the divorce laws of the West, you will not like the results. Those uh, initial sweetness that you see from a woman that you're dating, it's an act. It's an act. I've said it a million times. I've said it for a million and first time. Million and one time. It's an act. And uh, no human being can act forever. And that act drops. And then you're shocked and hurt. What happened? What happened? Nothing happened. It was always an act from the beginning. Now you're seeing the real person. Nothing happened. So don't think this out. Don't put yourself in a situation where you hold your head down and you are trapped and you cannot get out. And the only way to get out, like having made a deal with the devil, only way to get out is losing 60% of whatever you worked for. I'm not even talking about losing uh, uh, visitation rights with your kids, uh, up turning your life financially upside down, turning your, um, your self-image um, uh, and your self-confidence upside down, being hurt for decades at uh, in, in some situations, very commonly being hurt for decades and just not being able to get back on your feet again. Prevent, prevent, prevent. An ounce of prevention is worth tons and tons and tons of cure. All the best.